Hello, and welcome to our wetland delineation class. My name is Mark Seelinger. I will be the instructor for this class. I am a certified wetland delineator with the Baltimore District Corps of Engineers, uh, a professional wetland scientist with the Society of Wetland Scientists, and I have about 20 years experience in the wetlands consulting and delineation field. Our class is broken up into about nine topic areas. The first eight, the intention is for you to do these on your own, and it's a variety of lecture as well as exercises. Uh, they can be done in any order. You don't have to do one to one to eight. Uh, the last topic will be when we meet in the field, and we should plan to that about five to six weeks out, out from when the class actually starts. You'll be given all kinds of information about when and where and location and all that once we get into the class. Each class topic starts with a lecture. Um, this is essentially a slide presentation like this one. Uh, there will be assignments for each uh, topic, and these will be outlined, and some of these things will re be simple reading assignments. Other things we'll need you to email back into us. Each topic will end with a short quiz, probably five to ten questions at most. You'll have two shots at the quiz. Uh, it will keep score, and you don't have to remember how you did it. It'll keep it online. Uh, there will also be a test at the end of the class, and again, there'll be two tries at this, and the scores will also be tallied. Uh, the, the tests and the quizzes are really not to give you a numeric score, though you will get one, but it's really to give you a challenge to master the material. Uh, however, we will require that all of the coursework and all of the quizzes and all of the things should be done before we go out in the field. Once we do end up in the field, it will be a, about a two-day workshop. Uh, we will meet and be prepared to do uh, wetland delineation work, and we will need a fair amount of materials to bring out with us, a Munsell soil color chart, soil augers, plant guides, etc. Um, all of this, again, will be listed for you. The purpose of the field practicum is to give you a realistic uh, view of what it takes to do a wetland delineation. We'll be looking at several different sites, depending upon where the class is held. It could be a coastal plain, it could be mountain, it could be Piedmont. Uh, there will be also several different types of sites, basically looking at different types of situations where we define different hydric soils. The wetland data forms will be completed for each data point that we have at a site, and there'll be number, a number of them, 10, 20 per site, most likely. And at, finally, the goal of this class is to be able to identify the boundary between wetlands and non-wetlands, so we will be putting out wetland lines. Field dates will be announced prior to the start of the class. If you can't make the dates, we know things come up, uh, we will give you a shot at meeting with us the second time we offer the class, uh, the second round after the, the one that you're signed up for, that probably would be six to eight weeks from the start of the, the class that you would be signed up for. So it will give you a little bit of an idea of how far out you are. And please let me know if you can or cannot make the class, if there's some issue that comes up. This way we can keep tabs on everybody. Thanks. Once you've finished all of the classwork and field, field work, we will be issuing the training certificate. If you are in need of continuing education credits, we will are, are happy to work with you on that because of the variety of types of students between engineers, architects, and so forth that take this class. We pretty much need to contact the entity that is going to be offering the CEU so that we know what and where and how they need to uh, receive information from us. With regard to actually doing the classwork, try to set aside several hours a week to work on this. The intention of this class is to get away from the traditional classroom type setting, but it does require the discipline to sit through the, the lectures and go do all the assignments. Uh, plan to spend about as much time as you would in a week-long class over the span of this class, so in about a five to six week period, you'll probably put into it 30 to 40 hours, and that is, that is the intention of the class. This class is intended to be an interactive live class. Uh, there will be a weekly discussion. Uh, we have a chat room set up for this. Uh, it's somewhat similar to traditional university hours. If you recall, the professor was available on Mondays at such and such a time. That will be sort of the format. Uh, we will announce that, and it may be several times a week, once a week, but at least a weekly basis. Uh, we also encourage you to use the chat room amongst yourselves to discuss issues, comments, complaints, things like that, so we can get uh, some feedback from you, and that would be something that would be available for all the students to see. There's also a forum for each topic to post questions and discuss the specific topics related to whatever 
uh, discipline you're studying, whether it be soil science, wetland issues specific to hydrology, vegetation, so forth. And you can always send me an email with any questions uh, if you have something that you don't want to share with the entire class. The goal of this class is to cover all the materials that you would have otherwise covered in a normal 30, 40 hour workshop type setting. Uh, however, it's going to be on your own schedule, so you have the flexibility to do it where and when and how you'd like. Uh, we will be meeting to discuss topics uh, via typically chat, uh, the for forum uh, rooms, and also email. Um, we also will be meeting in the field to just demonstrate what you've learned. We'll be covering wetland delineations for real, uh, that sort of thing. So we will have a pretty good handle on what you've tried to accomplish in the classroom and implemented in the field. And above all else, we want to have some fun. <laughs>